The European Space Agency is playing a key role in NASA's Artemis program to return astronauts to the Moon and onto the lunar surface. ESA's European Service Module, or ESM, is the four-metre-wide cylindrical powerhouse providing propulsion with one main engine, eight auxiliary and 24 attitude thrusters, as well as power and thermal control for NASA's Orion spacecraft. When the first Artemis mission launches, ESM-1 will guide an empty spacecraft into orbit around the Moon, both a test and a taste of what's to come. So the first mission will bring us uh, un uncrewed to the Moon, and uh, the second vehicle is then a vehicle which will bring NASA's planning four astronauts to the Moon, just circling around the Moon, and then the third one, that's the one which is bringing the first astronaut and the first uh, man and woman back again after Apollo to the Moon. ESM was built by Airbus Bremen in Germany, together with industry from 10 European nations. ESM-3 is currently under construction. Those circles are where the fuel tanks will be installed. And this is ESM-2, receiving its final tests and inspections in the integration hall. It's now about to be shipped to the United States and will help put humans into orbit around the Moon for the first time in 50 years. So far, ESA has agreed to produce six ESMs for NASA, which is confident in Europe's expertise after its automated transfer vehicles carried supplies to the International Space Station. It's not the first time that we are assembling a big uh, spacecraft for human-rated flights. Uh, so we know the processes, how to do that. However, uh, on every spacecraft you learn something, how to do it better the next time. So how to improve and do it faster. Uh, and that is uh, what we learn from ESM-1 to ESM-2 and th the same would be also from ESM-2 to 3 and that will be ongoing up to we have a serial production. ESM-2 is not just for propulsion. It will contain life support, power, oxygen and water and will also control the temperature in the crew module for the four astronauts on board. This is the first time in uh, history where ESA developments are on the critical path of a development and a space mission from NASA. Uh, the service module is really key uh, for the Orion vehicle and for NASA achieving the Artemis mission. So this has been going very well uh, with NASA. We are very pleased with the outcome. And uh, this is paving the way for continued cooperation for the years to come. These are exciting times and with most of the moon yet to be explored, Europe's service modules will also guarantee that there will be European astronauts in this next stage of human exploration.